Thank you for inviting me to participate in this important ceremony. I want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. I know there are many First Nations voices leaders here and who have been a central part of this Global Pride celebration. Since I've arrived in Australia, I've had the chance to meet Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, and I've been humbled to learn from members of the oldest continuous culture on Earth. I know I speak for everyone here when I say that we are grateful for the knowledge that you have shared and welcome you provided to hundreds of thousands of visitors and the inspiration your traditions will provide to future celebrations, especially in Washington, D.C. The central role of First Nations people has made Sydney World Pride a more profound experience for everyone. And I'm looking forward to, sh to the sharing that will happen with First Nations people in the United States. I want to congratulate Kate and all the team for this landmark event. You created an opportunity to celebrate how far we've come in advancing the rights of LGBTQI plus individuals, a chance to discuss the current challenges facing the community when so many countries still have legal and non-legal forms of discrimination and inclusion. Most importantly, Sydney Pride has given us the tools to continue the work as we look forward to celebrating again together in my nation's capital in 2025. I'm honored to represent President Joe Biden here in Australia and serve with Special Envoy Jessica Stern, who is leading the U.S. delegation, and many other colleagues and members of Capital Pride. Throughout his career, President Biden has fought to break down the barriers that prevent all Americans from participating fully in our society. He's appointed an administration that looks like America, including the first openly gay cabinet secretary and the first First Nations cabinet secretary, who recently visited Australia to share experiences and history and face our own legacies of discrimination in both countries. President Biden's administration has taken historic action to protect the LGBTQI community, responding to discriminatory state laws with new federal protections and directing the federal government to use all tools possible to prevent inequity in housing, health care, employment, and the criminal justice system. Though there certainly have been recent disappointments in reproductive rights and anti-trans legislation, there is a bipartisan commitment in the United States where Congress recently passed the Respect for Marriage Act, <laughs> providing that all Americans can live in dignity with the person they love. So we will all leave here with a deeper understanding of the work that needs to be done. You've shown the world how an empowered, diverse community is central to a more peaceful and prosperous world. And I'm committed with you while I'm here to work to continue the progress towards tolerance and justice. I'm excited to welcome World Pride to Washington, D.C. in 2025. I'll see you there. Thank you.